For homework 4B, you had to sketch and describe the graphs completely, which means domain and range. Always put them in your, in your y equals. See what the sketch looks like. Notice the exponent 4 means you have four roots. It will cross the axis or bounce off, as in this case, four times you show three, but the one at the zeros is a double. Find your domain and range. Find your absolute maximums, your relative minimum, and it's a good idea to label these. So I'm going to label this A, B, and C. There's your B, there's your A, and there's your C. Find your x and y intercepts by setting x to 0 and y to 0. You need to find these algebraically. And find your odd and even by replacing x with a negative x. You also can tell if this is even because there is a reflection in the x-axis. If you take a look at your absolute max, you got a negative 1.4 and a positive 1.4. In the second example, we have a cubing function. Nice here because the domain and range are all real numbers. Find the relative maximum and the relative minimum and label them. Find your intercepts by setting x equal to 0 and y equal to 0. And replace x with a negative x. At this point, if it does not look like the original, it is not even. Then take out a negative 1. Once you take out a negative 1, you're going to see it is not odd either. So therefore, it's neither. You don't see symmetry through the y or through the origin. The next one, again, is a cubing function. Domain and range are all real numbers. Find your relative maximum, your relative minimum. Find your intercepts by plugging in x is 0, y is 0. Label all of them. You can label these b, c, d, whatever you'd like to label them. And check to see if it's odd or even. In the last one, you have an even function here. You can already see the symmetry across the y-axis. This is going to show you symmetry as well. Label your points a, b, c. Find your relative max, find your relative min, A and C. Find your increasing, decreasing, set to zeros, find your intercepts. Label all your intercepts and check to C, and it is even. When you replace the X with a negative X, because they're both even exponents, they become positive. 